Oh, it's a great feeling. Um, um, I don't know, it's still sinking in, but it's an awesome feeling to uh, to win this game, uh, to put ourselves back in the driver's seat, uh, to beat them two years in a row. I think it's been, I don't know how many years since we've won two in a row. Um, so it's, it's a great feeling. I'm, I'm proud of our guys, the way we um, worked this week in practice, the way we came out tonight and, and fought, had a lot of adversity, um, especially on the offensive side of the ball that first half. But um, our guys kept fighting, came in the second half, and, and made enough plays. The only good thing about that first half is did it in the first half, you had a chance to Oh, yeah. I, it was a sloppy first half, uh, very sloppy. Um, like I said, it was the first half. That's when you play 60 minutes. And then we came out that second half, like I said. Uh, we might not have scored, but I think we did a good job of, you know, getting, getting good field position for our defense and ourselves as well. And then, um, you know, obviously finish the game. But, uh, you know, Malcolm made it over the play and finish it off. You talk about that touchdown. Y'all have been going to that a little bit on that drive. It looks like over to that left side. Oh, yeah. Um, you know, Malcolm just made unbelievable, unbelievable play. Man-to-man -man coverage, one-on-one. -on -one. Uh, they pretty much brought the house, you know, blitz uh, from the weak side. And, uh, you know, I like my matchup. He made the catch. And, and, and uh, it's just not going to be a knockout after that. It's just an unbelievable play. A lot of people are going to consider this your biggest win, considering the Florida was ranked. Could you ever imagine such a signature win would come with a stat line that wasn't, you know, it's not going to go down? <laughs> hey, you know what? I've always said, you know, it, the stats don't mean anything to me. Um, you know, obviously, I want to play better. Obviously, I need to play better. Um, but at the end of the day, a win's a win. And, and that's what I'm happy about right now. I can, you know, I'm going to go home tonight and sleep well. I'll wake up tomorrow morning and uh, probably be a little stressed out when I watch the film. Um, you know, a, couple, a couple of throws. But like I said, it is a great victory for the University of Georgia. You all have sit for days and days. And then after the South Carolina game, that perfection was not still attainable. But other things that you said as goals were still attainable. Oh, yeah. We still, um, you know, we feel like we can still accomplish all of our goals. Um, we want to. We just got to keep winning. You know, and this, is, this isn't it. Uh, you know, this win doesn't mean we're still going to the SEC championship game. We still have two. Um, we still have two SEC games to go. Four games left in this regular season. We want to finish off strong. Um, and then give us, you know, get back to Atlanta. Yeah, what was your offensive line did for you? Oh, they were, they were awesome all night. I don't think I, had, I, don't think I was sacked. Uh, they did a great job uh, run blocking as well. I mean, they, those guys did a heck of a job against a very talented defensive line. What was going through your mind at, at halftime after all the um, You know, I just need to be, uh, you know, more respectful of the football. You know, I was, it, you know, I was a little disappointed by new. You know, told myself, hey, we're up still seven to six. You know, to start it over. It's a new half. Go out there fresh and uh, uh, compete. You know, finish the game up pretty much. I know a lot of guys walking over to you, kind of. Give me a pen oh pen. yeah, I mean, our, our my, the teammates were great. Uh, the coaches, everyone was, um, you know, coming up to me and, and, and making sure my head was up and making sure I was staying focused and, and knew that, uh, you know, like I said, there was a lot of ball game off the play. There's still three minutes to go, and, and anything could happen. Eric, could you just talk about the post game, Martin Rick? Went to the south, north end zone, the south end zone, the west stands. He spent 13 minutes, <laughs> hugged about over a dozen people. It just seemed like you know that this is a burden lifted off. Oh of yeah, it's way. huge. I mean, any time. Just I don't care if you're uh, if both teams are unranked. It's still a huge game, Florida versus Georgia. Um, but when it's number two versus number ten, and when the East is on the line. Um, it's, it just adds even more to it. It's, it's, an, it's an unbelievable win for us, like I said. Um, you know, everyone in that locker room afterwards is going crazy on the field. You know, I felt like we are out there for like 15, 20 minutes celebrating. It was, a, it was an awesome feeling. What about for him, though? I mean, Oh, for Coach, I, mean, I think it's, it's great. Um, you know, for everyone. I mean, I just can't say just Coach. I mean, every player, all the coaches.